Trees are important to a city. Like electricity or water, they are a part of the city's vital infrastructure. Their benefits can be measured and are many. There are countless benefits to the presence of trees and tree canopy. Trees begin paying us back from the moment we plant them. Many retailers recognize the value added to shopping districts that have healthy trees and canopy lined streets. I've been investigating business districts and what might a business district gain from planting trees? People in business districts are telling us they will spend 9 to 12 percent more in places that have a quality urban forest. Studies have been done that show people will linger for a longer period of time when there's a lot of greenery around you get a, a lot of other economic opportunities from their increased presence. Large healthy trees increase property values. Increased property values mean more community revenue, better streets, parks, and other amenities. The owners realize that adding trees to the homes will add value as those trees mature. Typically, we assume that anywhere from 15 to 20 percent of the home purchasing price can be impacted by the quality of trees within the neighborhood. Properly placed trees near houses and buildings can save on heating and cooling costs. As few as three trees properly positioned around a house can save a household between $100 and $250 in energy costs. Trees are important to a city's vital infrastructure. Including uh, redevelopment in urban areas, making wise use of the infrastructure that already exists, uh, balancing transit-oriented development and smart growth, all of those really sound development principles with uh, the competing needs for open space, for recreation, uh, and then the environmental health and quality uh, to make it a livable community. Research has shown that trees placed along roadways actually slow down traffic and create less aggressive driving behavior. Drivers are also more alert, and as a result, there are fewer traffic accidents. We're very close to a very highly intense industrial uh, area. The trees help us in terms of absorbing more pollutant from the air. Studies are showing if you plant more trees in cities, you'll have better air quality. In Baltimore, asthma is really uh, very prevalent. They've got a huge number of uh, missed school days by school children due to asthma. And part of that is because of the air quality problems. Trees are one of the few mechanisms, at least in terms of air quality, that actively cleanse the air. All the other sources, which are very important, are at reducing the emission at the source. The pollutant never gets out to the atmosphere. That's critical. The fact of the matter is pollutants do get out. What do you do once it's out there? Trees offer an active surface because they're constantly exchanging gases that clean the air. Large trees have more environmental benefits. So one tree does not equal one tree. A large tree is much more significant than a small tree. Researchers at NASA have been studying an environmental phenomenon called the heat island effect, where cities draw in heat like a magnet, retaining that heat in built or concrete structures. Researchers in Atlanta found that the heat island effect was triggering thunderstorms during the summer, which in many cases contributed to flooding. The yeah, goal is to plant more trees in urban areas to mitigate the heat island effect. A great reward in planting and caring for trees is people working together in community spirit that builds a pride of place and initiates other community improvement projects. If people plant the trees, they take a sense of ownership. If you bring the community together to plant, they tend to form neighborhood groups and associations, get to know each other. So you tend to form a community. Crime rates tend to drop down. Unfortunately, the urban environment can be a harsh place for trees to grow. Only we can assure our trees are cared for properly. Trees need care as they grow in order to be as big and as beneficial as possible. You need to maintain what you have, sustain the forest that you have, and keep the forest healthy. But we've got to find ways to get the job done. We sit down with the community, we give them an assessment of what their canopy cover is, and then we review different strategies they can incorporate to try to enhance their canopy and manage their existing canopy, the bottom line is more is better. So that's why we get involved with trying to find funding to take care of trees because the trees really belong to all the community, not just the one property owner. We all benefit from the trees. To learn more about what you can do to help sustain our urban forest and assure its benefits are realized, see the following websites.